taste of yummy ice cream I made. Oh. It's so good. How did you make it? I made it in this bag all by myself. You want to know how? Yeah. So today it's very exciting because we're gonna make homemade ice cream in a bag. Okay, you guys ready to get started? Here's what you need to do, okay? You just need to get a Ziploc bag, half and half. Okay, so there's many different types of recipe, but the one I'm gonna use will have half and half. Put it in a bag. Put as much as you want to eat, okay? And maybe extra to share with your friends and family. Then you're gonna add sugar to make it sweet, okay? Depending how sweet you want your ice cream, you're gonna put it in your bag. Ugh. Then you're gonna top it off with vanilla extract. Like this, put a few drops of vanilla extract inside. Voila, zip it up very tight. And obviously, this is not ice cream yet, right? It's just a lot of cream in here. So next thing you're gonna need, a bigger bag of Ziploc. Then inside this Ziploc bag, you're gonna put ice, okay? Lots and lots of ice. Fill it up here with ice. <laughs> Easier this way. There we go. Then get yourself some kosher salt and put it in the big bag with the ice. There it is. Then you're gonna take the smaller bag with the creamer, put it inside the ice bag with salt, like this. Close it up, really tight. And you're halfway there. What's left, you ask? I know you didn't ask, but what's left? You're gonna just shake. Shake, 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 shake. You're gonna shake for about five to 10 minutes, okay? And then your delicious ice cream will come. Just watch. Shaking, shake. Okay. Whoa. And if I mean, your hands gets really cold, so you might want to invest in some gloves. Okay. So all you have to keep doing is keep rolling that thing. Whoa. Three, three, Okay. So once five minutes is up, hopefully we made ice cream. So how does this work? So basically when you add the salt into the ice, it actually lowers the freezing points of ice. Then the ice will melt. Well, but in order for the ice to melt, it gotta get energy from somewhere. What's in here? Where do you think it's getting the energy from? From your bag of cream. So since the energy is taken away from your bag of cream, your bag of cream will become ice cream, right? Look! A lot harder. That is so cool. The more you do it, it'll become more ice cream-ish, but it's been five minutes and I'm super hungry already. So I'm gonna dump my ice cream in a cup. Okay, so this is what it'll look like here. There it is. Then, whoa, doesn't this look like ice cream? Oh, I don't have an ice cream scoop, but it pretty looks like ice cream. Mmm. And it tastes like ice cream too. Okay, so yay! Okay, we're gonna put all our ice cream here. We gotta hurry because it's melting. Okay. <laughs> so once you get enough ice cream that you want, okay, and I'm gonna save this and share with Sean later, okay? Then, topping times. Okay, so I really like gummies, right? So I wanna sprinkle some gummies onto my ice cream. Just add a little bit more. Can never have too much gummies. Sprinkles, right? Okay, some sprinkles. There you go. Ooh. And if you like nuts, you can add some nuts. Yeah. And Hershey's syrup. Ice cream. Syrup time. Ooh. Ooh. Look, chocolate, I mean. <laughs> Then you can taste your first bite of homemade ice cream. <gasps> okay. It's a lot of stuff. Mmm. So there it is. You can make your own homemade ice cream in under 10 minutes. This is a very fun and educational and fun activity you can do with your whole family. So 
thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give us a big thumbs up, everybody. I'm so excited because today we're gonna make stained sugar glass. So here's what you do, okay? It's gonna be so exciting. All you need is one cup of water. We're gonna pour it into the pot. Oh, do you guys know what I forgot? Goggles. That's important, right? Every time you do a science experiment, you need to wear goggles. Next, you need half a cup of light syrup, like so. Pour it into my pot. Oh, look at it go. Look at this viscosity. It's pretty thick compared to the water. Woo. Next, you're gonna need one eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, already added in there. And the most important ingredient, Ugh, so heavy. Sugar! Now we're gonna pour in one and three fourths cup of sugar into our pot. Whoa, it's a lot of sugar. Remember, this is for a science experiment. Don't eat it. Okay, next I'm turning on my stove here to a low boil. Okay, you don't want it too hot, and then I'm gonna stir. We gotta agitate. Agitate, agitate. Go. Whoa, look at the sugar. Whoa. Now I'm gonna keep stirring until it boils, okay? Okay, next you're gonna need a candy thermometer. You're gonna put it in, and that way you can check the temperature, and you're gonna boil the solution until it reach around 290 or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so I think it's almost there. Okay, so now, Get a pan like so, get some spray, spray it all over. You don't want the sugar to stick to the pan. Okay guys, so the temperature is at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It is perfect, it's ready to go. You gotta hurry before it crystallizes, okay? So, we're gonna take this and pour it into our pan. Okay, like so, woohoo! Yeah, you have to do it quick because you don't want the sugar to burn. There it is. Yay, so it should look light like this. Okay guys, so this is what not to do. If you leave it in too long or the temperature gets too hard, it's burnt like this, this is not good. Okay, so, so once this is done, pick up your favorite fruit coloring. And then just start putting it on. So this is yellow. We can put some yellow. You guys see the yellow color? Oh, that looks really cool. Just start spreading it. Green. How many of you guys like green? Green is a really cool color. Blue. Ooh. Okay, blue. We gotta hurry. Use a little spatula and then just start spreading it. Look at this, wow! This looks amazing. Look how fun this is. Look at the pop of color. Whoa, look at this. Isn't this amazingly fun? Wow, it's so colorful. Wow. All right. Now we just have to wait for it to harden and cool down and we got our stained glass. Okay guys, it's been about 20 minutes. And then look, the sugar glass hardened. And then you can just pull it off. Whoa, look at this. This is the most amazing, coolest thing I've ever seen. And because I put it on a pan that kind of has like little dents and stuff, you can see the dent on the glass on the other side. So there it is. Super easy how to make a sugar stain glass. And of course, do not eat your science experiment, right? So people in the movie industry actually make this out of sugar, like how we did, and pretend that it's real glass. Isn't that cool? All right guys, we have a special guest here to break the glass, Sean. Hey guys, I've been working out just for this. I think I got this. So I'm gonna put the glass here. 
Now, disclaimer, do not try this at home. Sean is a professional sugar glass stain breaker. Okay? Yeah, you need a license for this, so. Got this, guys. I'm just gonna color the chop it into half. Just like movie stuff. Yeah, but it was so cool because it's shining the glass like glass. It's like a fake glass. All right, guys, there you have it. How to make do-it-yourself sugar glass. Again, don't eat the experiment. Don't break stuff. And please always have adult supervision. For now, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.